Well, I started because I didn't come into the American bully community until about 2008. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I started kind of later in the game after Mm -hmm. Remy, you know, um, when Remy was still being bred heavily, obviously, but, um, I think basically anything after Remy, Lil Roe, um, you know, Gotti, I think that's kind of where it just went downhill. We got the more exotic looking dogs. The whole squatty looking like they got Down syndrome. Yeah, I'm I'm on the fence with the whole exotic thing. I think um, people first. I think the exotic class or breed. I guess now they say it's a new breed. To me, the exotic are American bully gone wrong. It's yeah. American bullies that are that have severe defects genetic defects and structural Mm -hmm. um, that didn't fit in anything. Once Mm -hmm. the ABKC pushed them out, other bully registries started allowing them and then called them their own breed. Because of all of the different breeds used in creating the American bully, and people are still adding in other breeds today, that's why we have the exotic, you know, the French bulldog, heavy, heavy French bulldog influence in most of them. Um, it doesn't make them their own breed per Mm -hmm. se. Exactly. Um, just because it's a heavily flawed dog doesn't mean that it's a different breed than the dog that it was, uh, that it came out of. (laughs) Right. And that's the thing. Like, I don't, I don't mind the French bulldog when it's well put together. 